Do you wanna know how to make $100 a day doing BPOs? Stick with me. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, real estate brokers, grow their businesses and ultimately achieve financial freedom. So what is a BPO? A BPO stands for Broker's Price Opinion. It's exactly how it sounds. It's an opinion of a real estate professional, real estate agent or real estate broker on their opinion of value of a property. So who needs BPOs and how do you get paid? So banks usually hire real estate agents, real estate brokers to do two different types of BPOs. One is for a pre foreclosure, meaning when a borrower stops paying or defaults on a mortgage, a lot of times they'll try to get an idea of value. So a quick way and a cheaper way for banks to do this is through hiring a real estate agent or a real estate broker to do a valuation of the property. The second is short sales. Now when a listing agent lists the property for a short sale, they'll submit a short sale package to the bank, including an offer to purchase that property. When the bank receives it, they're gonna order a BPO. Sometimes they'll even order an appraisal. Now do not get confused with a BPO and an appraisal. An appraisal is performed by a licensed appraiser. Now we cannot call a BPO or even a CMA, a comparative market analysis and appraisal. It's two different things. Now you're gonna sign up with BPO companies as well as asset management companies. There's gonna be a link below. When you get the BPO assignment, a couple things are gonna happen. You're gonna either accept it or reject it. If you accept it, that's yours and you're gonna move forward with the process. If you reject it, no big deal, it moves on to another agent. Also in that email, they're gonna state the actual price that they're gonna pay you for that BPO, broker's price opinion. Now, when you accept that assignment, it's gonna be a process. You're gonna to have to go out to the property and they're gonna have their specific requirements for pictures of the property, interior and exterior. They're also gonna want a picture of the street going both ways. They're gonna want a picture of the address, whether it's on a mailbox or on the side of the house. And they're gonna want a specific amount of pictures so that they can actually see the condition of the property. You're gonna to wanna to follow their instructions very carefully. And the reason is, if you miss anything or you don't have enough pictures, they're gonna tell you to go back to that property. So you wanna use your time wisely, go to the property one time, take the appropriate amount of pictures, follow their instructions to a T. Now that you left the property, you have everything that you need, you're gonna go back to your office, and you're gonna fill out the report usually online. You're gonna have to upload all those pictures that you took, the interior, exterior pictures. Um, you're usually gonna have to write about the condition of the property. You're gonna have to provide three active, in most cases, and three sold comparables. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because these guys that work for these companies, the asset management companies or BPO companies, they're seasoned, so they really do know what to look for. They're gonna do their own desktop analysis to see if there's any other better comparables that you're not thinking of. Now, some of these companies will actually rate you as well. So you wanna make sure that you have high rating. You don't have them telling you to go back to a property or kicking the BPO back to you and saying, find another active comp or finding another sold comp. Because at the end of the day, you're rated in this system and you wanna keep your ratings high so you get more BPOs out of it. On average, a BPO can take anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes, depending on the property type and where you're at. A lot of times, if the property type is you know, maybe a larger acreage or even commercial real estate, they're actually gonna pay more for more difficult properties to give valuations on as well. Quick tip, do not take a BPO assignment if the area is too far or the property type is just something you really don't deal in. Like for example, commercial real estate, a lot of times you're gonna need access to LoopNet on the premium access to get the sold comps for commercial real estate. Now once you put all this information together, you're gonna have to come up with your own valuation or even a price range of valuation for the bank so they can make a determination whether they're gonna move forward with the short sale on the offer price that they have or they're gonna negotiate with that buyer on that short sale. There's a lot of BPOs that are still coming our way. I'm still signed up with a handful of them and, and still get these emails that come in on a regular basis. Another tip is there's opportunity to actually get foreclosure listings. If these asset management companies or BPO companies actually assign foreclosure listings, 
and you're going to want to find out and read through their websites and so forth. Again, the links below um, so you can check out some of them. But you're going to want to find out if they do assign foreclosure listings. Now, if they do and you've been working your butt off and doing a really good job at BPOs, you're going to want to get on the phone and call these people. Also, we have another video on how to list foreclosure properties. You're going to want to check that out too. And that's it, guys. It's as simple as that. Go to the link below. Uh, you can even Google BPO companies, asset management companies. You're going to be able to find m many more links to a lot of other companies um, where you can sign up. I would suggest if you're going to take this on full reign to go ahead and sign up with as many as possible. Get into the system. Uh, if you're not getting the assignments to you uh, in a timely manner, pick up the phone and start making calls. Tell these people that you're hungry for it, that you can on a dime go out and do these BPO assignments for them right away. The links are below, so check out the article on this as well. So my question to you guys is, what's your experience with dealing with uh, BPOs? Whether you were listing a property for a short sale and maybe a BPO agent came in and gave you a shit valuation, or have you done BPOs yourself and how did that work out? Hey, if you found this information useful, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's call it in the crossfire